Minnesota State Mankato played a baseball game at U.S. Bank Stadium last Friday night. Nothing unusual there until you learn the backstory. As WCCO's Mike Max explains, the starting pitcher for the Mavericks, Brody Rodney, had dedicated the game to his number one fan for a very good reason. Brody Rodney warms up to pitch a game. He's left-handed with a 93-mile-an-hour fastball that has scouts watching. But this game is different. You see, last August, Brody's older brother McCoy got married on a Saturday. The following Tuesday, their mother Tiffany was unexpectedly diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. A roller coaster of emotions, you know, go from my wedding, best day of my life, Tuesday, probably worst day of my life. See, this mom had it all. A beautiful lady with a career at the State School Board Association, two sons she adored and a husband of 28 years. He was the star athlete at the rival school, Gaylord, and she was a standout at next door Winthrop. You know, when she walked into the ro a room, um, you'd want to talk to her. She was someone that, um, um, she lit up the room. That's who she was to everyone that met her. She was a people person. You know, she, everyone that knew her, um, they knew her. They, they knew she was, she was great. Um, my great grandma, they called her Precious Tiffany, and she was precious. As she went through the agonizing process of cancer, she gathered her family and prepared them for her death. She said she knows her body and her time is coming soon and that she's not scared. And, uh, give, yeah. Last Thursday night, she passed away with her family by her side. When they came to get her body at 3 in the morning, the mortician asked Brody a question. And he says, I bet you're pitching tomorrow. And Brody goes, yes, I am. And he goes, you're ready for this, aren't you? And Brody goes, I've never been more ready in my life. What followed was magical. With a huge following from their hometowns of Gaylord and Winthrop showing up to support. The connection that Tiffany had with our team was one that everybody knew her. And, and that night, I think everybody was going to give whatever they had to, to help the team out. Brody took the mound, just like Mom would have wanted. I did it for Mom. Um, I know that's what she wanted me to do. Uh, she told me. And what he did was a movie script, dialing up that left arm, pitching his team to six scoreless innings, asking them to just get him one run. I knew that she was sitting there cheering me on the whole time, and um, there was no way I was not going to pitch that game. Uh, I knew she was, she had my back whenever I needed it, you know. Sometimes I took a step off the mound and looked up to her, talked to her, and, you know, she was there. When he recorded the final out, he had recorded a one nothing shutout. He paused to look into the heavens and talk to Mom. I told her that I loved her and that was for her, and I, I, I thanked her. When they gathered the team, his emotions finally let loose. We were spent, but um, it was just one of those nights that I, I don't think I'll ever maybe be a part of again. Good pitch. There you go. And now they are healing, preparing for a funeral that she already planned. McCoy and his new wife announced they are expecting the first grandchild in August. There was two things she wanted to get through. She wanted to see the grandbaby and, and she wanted to she wanted to see her youngest son get drafted. They have honored her at Minnesota State Mankato with the chairs she would sit in when she came to watch her son play baseball. The ultimate sports mom in many ways. People waited two and a half hours at the visitation to pay their respects. And at the funeral that Tiffany planned, it was buoyed by her Christian faith. And her two sons placed their college jerseys on her casket. And there was much conversation about the game her son pitched for her. Because Brody knows exactly how she would have felt about that special night where she was his wind beneath his wing. She would have been so proud of me. She would have told me she loved me and she would have she gave me a big hug and a big kiss. And, yeah, she would have been so proud, and I know she is. Mike Max, WCCO 4 News. Tiffany had just turned 49 last week. Brody was honored as the conference pitcher of the week.